Scott Rupp. SATs in Virginia at that time yeah. without even studying. He just learned, he just absorbed. So his humor was quick and witty, but without puns, but with wordplay and references. Sometimes you'd like that, but you knew how to laugh. And if you didn't, you challenged yourself to find out that you should. And Dave learned a lot from him. Dave also survived his mother, Miriam, whom I loved. And uh, she fought in the Battle of Britain as a, in World War II, as a Women's Air Corps or Auxiliary Corps for the World Air Force. Um, survived being bombed out in a basement under rubble for three or four days at a hand's length hands touch to another pinned friend who expired in that time. Marion was able to keep herself alive by sipping from a broken drain pipe, trickling down water, and they finally dug her out. So she, gone through so much tragedy in her life, choose to see the better side of life, one of her favorite songs, you know, uh, Monty Python, life's a piece of shit when you look at it, you know, yeah. you just gotta look on the bright side. And she whistled that all the time. Sometimes, uh, when she was so st stressed by that little devil of his, uh, her uh, son, Dave, she was <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, she, she's a semi-retired, uh, legal secretary, so she had some time, and favorite is she's sitting on, she's lying on the sofa watching her favorite show, uh, Star Trek, The Limp Generation, and had a thing for uh, Commander Riker, and up in the DC, uh, on certain channels, it would play four or five hours a day, and she would watch them all, and sometimes I would be sitting on the floor in front of her, and then Dave and Andrew felt it was their task to keep her entertained somehow. And they would have a witty banner back and forth. Uh, I mean, Andrew would have witty banner back and forth. But then Dave would just like get in front of the TV. <laughs> My 
Mami, look at me. Mommy. Don't you love your son? And she was like, so about that time, uh, Cats was playing for two or three years or forever up there. Hell, our family even went. And it's like, Mom, Mom, I'm going to serenade your cats. Memories along the moonlight. If you touch me, you'll understand what a penis is. <laughs> That penis will again. She said, she's like, oh, I thank God you're not my biological son. You are a demon seed. Go get on me. Get away from me. Get out of my sight. So we ran off into the woods and got high by University of <laughs> But the thing about this humor, and it bounced between those two dynamics, was that it was always infectious, like a good STD. <laughs> It was about two or three days later, he had me, Andrew, and Miriam singing that. Um, practically rolling on the floor. It was always fun. Almost in harmony, too. And I guess we've all been kind of affected by that. So, I guess in closing, I've got two things. Um, he always considered me his Spock. And he was my Kirk. So, <laughs> him moving down there, he would fucking bitch me out if I don't do this. So, uh, bear with me. In all my trouble, travels of all the twisted, mischievous souls I've encountered. His was the most human. <laughs> All right, Shatter did better. <laughs> if you got him, raise him in honor of our ascended and transcended artistic warrior brethren. All right, uh, we're going to have uh, uh, three more speakers today. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Remember, you can always talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> and that's more fun. Uh, next up is uh, Jameson.